YouTube. My name is Equagan. Call me EK. Uh, I do stream daily at twitch.tv slash Equagan where I'm recording this right now. In this video, I want to go over the seasonal AR, which is called Perpetualis. Um, if we look at Gunsmith, if you don't have a good Synchronic Roulette, right? I've been trying to get my hands on a Flare Magwall Envious Assassin Hatchling one. But if you don't have a good pair there, this I would say would be the next best option because it also has a hatchling on there. So having Envious and Hatchling together is really nice because the base mag for this gun is 41. And if you have Enhanced Envious, it basically brings it up to about 101. I do like going for Reload because let's say I don't have Envious up, I can still get to this really quickly. And the neat thing about Hatchlings is if you have any kind of strand build going on and you have Hatchlings coming out on top of that and you have Raveling Rounds, you're going to be doing well, especially if you run a Warlock that's running the Weaver's Trance as well. Now, when it comes to the barrel, it is up to you, but most of the time I like to go with Fluted because I like that stability of handling. Masterwork depends on your input as well. You know, maybe you want to go more for stability. For me, I kind of like going more like in either handling side or reload. So on this roll that I have here, you can notice that my stats are pretty like laid out, but I went with reload. If you want to, you could do handling. I mean, that's completely up to you. Even for the spec, instead of using minor, maybe you want to use backup because it brings you up to 49, meaning that your mag could go up even higher. But I like the minor spec just because if I'm going to use this for playing out small ads and getting the hatching going, it's kind of gets it into a good flow. What I'm going to do in this law sector here, you can see my mag at 41, right? I'm going to use the Thunder Lord to try to clean up ads as quick as possible. And having an, the Hands Envious Assassin is really nice because I can kill a bunch of stuff and then switch to my weapon, right? The one thing about Envious that most people should know is if you proc it and you switch to that weapon, can't like reproc it unless you get rid of that mag that's been overflowed, right? So, all right, I killed a bunch of stuff. I go to my primaries at about 103. So, at 103, if I kill a bunch of stuff here, you're gonna see that hatch signal going to come out. And it's actually really nice for ad clearing as well. So, I'm gonna wait for all these like scions to come down here. Maybe they'll duplicate a little bit. You can kind of see the hatches coming out of the ground and kind of just going to town. Right? That's one of the things I love about this uh, this weapon here. And you can see that I I basically I basically use my envious rounds and my reload is still pretty consistent to where I can take it back out and I can keep this going. So if you're out there, you're looking for like a fun AR, especially if you love 600s, this might be the weapon for you. So far I've been enjoying it, especially if I'm using a void, like perfect example this season, we have the void volatile, right? If you're running like a void LMG, and you clean up the room, right? When you get back to this thing, it's going to have a huge mag. And on top of it, you're going to have the hatchlings kind of helping you out as well. Now, another neat thing that you can pair together with this is if you look at the artifact, I don't have it on this on my Titan because I normally run it on my Warlock, is that you can probably run a Tangler because the Warlock boots, when you destroy a Tangle, it creates minis. And you can pair that together with Rapid Find the Blow of the Shrin weapon gives you Unraveling Rounds. This thing right here, Ally Unraveling, paired together with Hatchling, just murders rooms, especially when it comes to ad clearing. So if you're out there, you're thinking, what should I put on my you know, seasonal AR? That is it. That's all I have to give. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this kind of content, please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. We are working our way to 50K, which is a huge accomplishment on the YouTube side of things. I appreciate you guys joining up on this journey. I'll see you in the next one. Deuces.